Am I the a-hole for telling my BF, you knew my job, why do you care now? Then he broke up with me because of it? To answer a few popular questions, no, this is not fake. Yes, this is really my job for now. No, I do not have not and never will sleep with my clients. No, I do not have a pimp LOL. Yes, my clients look at me, but it would be weird if they did not. Yes, I am safe. Yes, I get paid about $1,500 per shift, which varies on hours. They tip me for more, but it is never sexual or anything flirtatious. I pay my way through college like this. I go to community college. I will graduate as a nurse and I have an academic scholarship already as well. Yes, my BF had seen me naked before. That was an odd question. And my uniform bottoms are black shorts. Yes, I have to look pretty when I go. Yes, I actually clean, but it's more like your everyday stuff you do rather than a real housekeeper. Hi everyone, so I want to start by saying I am 21, and I have a really unique job that not a lot of people agree with. It's okay if you don't, it's not your job and it doesn't have to be. I respect your opinion just please don't be rude about it. I currently work as a maid, a topless maid. As in, I clean people's homes with no clothes but my bottoms on. I do this because my friend found it as a side hustle. I am currently in college and it is how I pay for each of my semesters, enabling to me to graduate with zero debt. I graduate next semester. At that point I will quit my job. I typically clean very expensive homes for very rich people, and I have never really had a bad experience at my job thank god. Of course there is leering but I mean that's the appeal, it really doesn't bother me. I told my BF this on our second date because I know that some people, especially men, have a problem with it. I have to admit he was a little put off at first but ultimately he decided he was okay with it, as long as it isn't my life goal which it certainly isn't. We have been dating now for 6 months and it has been very good. He honestly is a great BF and I did see a future with him. Unfortunately last night he broke up with me. It started because I told him to come to my house at 7 and I would make us dinner. Well I ended up being late because there was an accident on the bridge I take from one of my client's house. My BF heard it on the news and told me take my time, he will chill at my apartment and it's not a rush. When I got home I was exhausted from driving and went right to my bedroom to put some comfy clothes on. My BF was there. It didn't bother me, I just took my shirt off to throw a PJ shirt on. My BF looked at me as I did and I could see in his face that something changed that instant. He saw me topless and with my uniform bottoms on and it seemed like he just now made that connection about what I do and look like. He broke up with me right then and there. I sobbed all night and all day. When he called me just recently I asked him why. He told me my job. I told him that he's known my job, why even waste my time and break my heart. He called me a slut and an asshole for that. He told me you can't even see this from my perspective, I actually loved you. I'm just so hurt. Am I the a-hole for any of this? I thought I was so clear about everything my job is. Am I the asshole for telling a guy the real reason I wasn't dating him was that he was an extremely picky eater? Disclaimer, this is not my account. My friend lent me her tablet to ask this question because I don't want to make my own Reddit account, LOL. Here's the situation. I met this guy, Jake, on a dating app. He seemed like a good match, funny, smart, and we had some common interests. After a couple of weeks of texting, we decided to meet up for dinner. For context, I'm a sous chef and I come from a culture where food is a huge part of life. Sharing meals and trying new dishes are essential to me, not just because of my job, but because it's part of how I connect with others. Our first date was at a nice Italian restaurant, and that's when I first noticed something was off. Jake spent a ridiculous amount of time asking the waiter about every single dish. When it was finally time to order, he settled on plain pasta with butter. No sauce, no toppings, just noodles and butter. It struck me as odd, but I shrugged it off, thinking maybe he just wasn't feeling adventurous that night. Then we went out again, and I suggested sushi. Jake made a face and said he doesn't eat seafood or anything that's uncooked, so we ended up at a diner instead. Once again, he interrogated the waiter about every item on the menu before finally ordering a plain cheeseburger with nothing on it, just meat, cheese, and bread. This was starting to become a pattern. Over the next few days, it became clear that Jake was extremely picky, not because of allergies or a medical condition like Arfi, but simply because he refused to try anything unfamiliar 
He avoided sauces, spices, vegetables, basically anything that wasn't super basic. Every meal turned into a challenge and he even made faces or comments about dishes I enjoyed, which started to feel disrespectful considering my background. The breaking point came when I invited Jake to a potluck dinner hosted by one of my colleagues. It was a big event with lots of homemade dishes from various cultures, exactly the kind of thing I love. When we arrived, Jake immediately looked uncomfortable. As we moved through the buffet line, he barely put anything on his plate. He kept making comments like, this looks weird, or I don't trust food that has too many ingredients. I was embarrassed, especially since these were my colleagues and friends who had spent a lot of time preparing these dishes. Jake picked at his food and eventually whispered to me that he was going to leave and grab some fries from a fast food place nearby because he couldn't eat this stuff. He left the potluck early, leaving me to make excuses for his absence. That was when I realized this wasn't going to work. Food is such a significant part of my life and my culture, and I need someone who can share that with me. So I decided to end things with Jake. To avoid hurting his feelings, I told him it was because I wasn't ready for a serious relationship right now. But Jake wouldn't let it go. He kept texting and calling, insisting that he deserved to know the real reason. After a week of him pestering me, I finally told him the truth that his extremely picky eating habits were a major issue for me, and I couldn't see a future where food wasn't a constant point of tension. Jake was livid. He accused me of being shallow and said it was ridiculous to end things over something as trivial as food. He told me I was making a big mistake and that I was missing out on a great relationship over something that shouldn't even matter. Now, I'm left wondering, was I the asshole for telling him the real reason I didn't want to date him?